Hey, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about Mac OS Sierra. It's no longer Mac OS X. Now it's just plain old Mac OS Sierra. Uh, Sierra is the latest version of Mac OS to hit the market. Um, this is replacing the previous version of Mac uh, OS X El Capitan. Uh, and it's not as compatible with older devices as El Capitan was. El Capitan was good for Macs that were dating back to 2007. But now uh, with Sierra, the oldest Mac that you can have is one that dates back to 2009. Uh, so let's take a look at Sierra and let's see how you can get it on your Mac and if your Mac is even compatible with it. Currently on this MacBook Pro, uh, I am using uh, Mac OS El Capitan, and you can tell by the mountain range uh, Yosemite uh, with El Capitan being here. Um, if you've got an older version of Mac OS Yosemite, uh, you'll get a prominent picture of uh, El Capitan uh, on your wallpaper background. And that's usually how Apple lets you know which version of Mac OS that you're running. Now, another way that you can find out which Mac OS you're running is um, by going to the Apple menu, and we'll do that in a second. But I have to point out with Mac OS's, uh, unlike Windows, where Windows will kind of force you to get the latest version and send you alerts that your Mac OS or that Windows is out of date, Apple is pretty subtle as far as updates. They'll make a major announcement that a new update is available, but it's up to the user to figure out if uh, they are to go and download that update for their Mac or MacBook Pro. So keep in mind, um, this is where you need to go in order to find out what version of Mac OS you have. So let's go to the Apple menu. And then from the Apple menu, you can definitely uh, click on About This Mac. Once About This Mac pops up, it'll tell you which version of Mac OS you've got. Now starting with Yosemite, uh, I started to give you a little bit more clear uh, cut instruction on which version of Mac OS that you're running. Um, El Capitan is the version that's running on this MacBook Pro. And as you can see, this MacBook Pro was uh, created mid-2010. So with that in mind and the amount of memory, because starting with Yosemite, you really need to have eight gigs of RAM in your Mac. Uh, this MacBook Pro should be able to go to Sierra with no problem. Uh, like I said, keep in mind Sierra if you've got a MacBook that's 2009 or older, you cannot use uh, Sierra. And this is critical because Apple usually has a three-year lifespan as far as their operating systems are concerned, as far as support. Um, so for example, if you're running Yosemite, support for Yosemite, uh, which came out two years ago, uh, may be ending or nearing end of support. That especially holds true if you're running old versions of um, Mountain Lion, um, and uh, even if you're running um, Lion, or if you're running Snow Leopard, God forbid, because uh, Snow Leopard is a, is a pretty old operating system, and Apple doesn't even um, Apple doesn't even support uh, Snow Leopard anymore. So if you go to Apple menu and find out. Uh, that you're running Snow Leopard, you definitely need to make an upgrade or even get a, a new Mac. But usually, uh, as far as hardware is concerned, uh, you should be able to go from Snow Leopard to El Capitan at the very least. Um, so anyway, this Mac has got El Capitan, so it's good to go uh, for a Mac OS upgrade to Sierra. Now, how do we get it? Pretty simple. Uh, we go back to our Apple menu and from the Apple menu, we just go to the App Store. And I have to point out that Mac OS, like all the OSs uh, now, are free. So there's the, min the intro screen from the App Store on this MacBook Pro. Um, it kind of skipped on me. So let's go ahead and go back to, um, or actually we can just click on the link for Mac OS Sierra after a few seconds. Uh, we'll get the intro screen for Mac OS Sierra. And when we're ready to download, we can just click on the download button. Now keep in mind, um, 
the download for Mac OS is pretty hefty. Um, it is probably about a three or four gigabyte file. So even if you've got pretty fast internet, uh, it may take a while uh, to download the file onto, you Mac, onto your Mac. Uh, so if you're using a MacBook or MacBook Air, or MacBook Pro, uh, you definitely wanna make sure that your Mac is plugged in so that you uh, don't uh, lose uh, battery life and that the upgrade is successful. Obviously, if you've got an iMac, it's plugged in all the time and um, you don't have to worry about um, you uh, having your iMac die on you. So once we're ready, we can just click on download on uh, Mac OS and then the download process will start. And this will take a while. So obviously with this video, we're not going to sit here while Mac OS Sierra downloads onto this iMac. But uh, there's a few features that um, are included with Mac OS other than making sure that you've got the latest and greatest Mac OS installed on your Macintosh product, which is important because of security updates. Uh, one of the major things that happens with Mac OS is that you get Siri on your Mac. So like Cortana for Windows computers, where you can sit and talk to your computer, uh, you can obviously open up your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, or even your iMac and talk with Siri. Uh, it's got a color, couple of other features here too. Uh, the finder is modified, um, but it's got some other features in there that aren't necessarily uh, important or going to improve um, the uh, quality of your Mac, but it's just got new features that will make your Mac a little bit easier to use. So that kind of gives you a little uh, overview of Mac OS Sierra. So I would encourage you to download Mac uh, OS Sierra. Um, if you've got any programs that are non Apple that uh, you need to check for compatibility, such as uh, Adobe products. Uh, you probably need to have the later versions of Adobe. Uh, Microsoft Office products is very important. You check and see if your version of Office is compatible uh, with Mac OS Sierra. So uh, do your research, but if it, all your programs are compatible, I would definitely make recommend that you would update uh, your Mac to Mac OS Sierra. And just kind of give you an idea how long it's gonna take uh, we're looking at about 40 minutes on internet speed that's running at 50 megabits per second. So as you can see, it's a pretty hefty download, uh, but it's worth it um, if you want to make sure that you keep your Mac uh, ready, rearing to go and up to date. So as always, that helped you out. If you've got comments or questions, uh, please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, you can check out more great videos like this on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is integral on site and online tech support. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Instagram at Integral uh, on-site online tech support. And as always, take care of yourselves and do many things to make you smile.